on Virgo. All right, so I'm going to start this message off with um, messages from your angels, the Oracle deck. Okay, so um, you guys know the logistics, but I still got to run it down for the new people tuning in. Don't forget, flip your roles, take what you need, leave what you don't need, and please use the spirit of discernment as you're viewing this video. Um, also, you guys, um, I do personal readings, of course. You can go to my website to check that out. Um, www.theoraclegoddessinc.com. You can also find that website in any one of my social media bios, including my YouTube bio. So if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll actually see my website there too as well if I don't have it posted below this video. Um, yesterday, we buried my grandfather. So I gained another ancestor and um, hopefully he will be a part of my spiritual team. Um, I thank everyone who has sent out um, condolences for um, me and my family. We definitely appreciate your prayers and your support um, from afar. And um, it was a really good funeral. He won 11 on a timer. He, it was really good. The viewing, it was like a happy hour without the drinks. Okay. Everybody laughed and had a good time. Um, shared memories, things like that. Um, more like a little social hour. So I feel like that could have been everything that he wanted. Okay. Um, he, uh, looked very good. They had him, um, yeah, he looked very good. It just looked like he was sleeping. Um, and at peace and even down to, you know, the makeup that they had on him. He didn't look overly made. He just looked really at peace. Like I never go up to the casket and, and really be looking in the casket at him, um, at people who pass away. But I actually went to the casket and felt comfortable and everything, um, with being around him laying like that. Um, and the funeral was good. It didn't last that long, the actual eulogy part. And, um, we took him to the burial site and my grandmother she held it together um she did really well i don't know if she's has processed the grief but she just been floating around here just doing what she gotta do i don't think i ever seen her shed a tear just as of yet maybe it hasn't set in yet um but otherwise just send prayers out to my earth angel y'all okay so let's see what the energy is like overall for you guys don't forget, um, <laughs> flip the rolls as you see fit. If you're triggered by anything, face your mirror, not my comment section. The first God card that came out was you're a light worker. And God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon this earth and all of its inhabitants. Archangel Michael was giving you the courage to make the life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose as a light worker. Okay. Um, and as you can see, I called my grandmother, my earth angel. She's my very first um, experience of having an encounter with a light worker. She just one of those people that just intuitively knows everything. I could be haven't talked to her in weeks and she'll call me like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'll be like, what the hell? Like, you got a tracker on me? But she will always know and always have the right things to say. So I will always call her my earth angel. And then as I um, awakened myself, I started holding up. <coughs> I've been having sinus infections. I went to acupuncture today and they worked on my sinuses too. But however, um, she... Um, She's just always been very intuitive. She's a seer as well. And she also taught me how to dream interpretate. So, um, but otherwise, like you may have always felt different. Okay. You may have always felt different. Let me, um, read the book real quick. Like the outcast. Usually light workers go through like, it's like we be in the valley. Okay. For a minute. All right. Um, in the darkness for a minute, right? But we got to go through the darkness in order to get through the light, right? We got to understand the darkness, um, connect with the darkness, right? This is why we're learning how to balance our energies operating in duality because of the simple fact that in order to help other people, in order to shine our light on this world, we have to have experience these things okay so this is a lot of times why we go through what we go through and our story can seem so um tumultuous but it's really because um we 
have to awaken to who we are as light workers and and realize that the stuff that happens in our 3d world is merely a it's an illusion okay um but it says yes you are a light worker as such you have always hold on one second you have always had a burning desire to make the world a better place. It is a deep calling that is beyond time and space. You are often called into service during ordinary circumstances, such as when you are shopping for groceries and someone needs your help. But right now, your life mission is expanding so that you can reach even more people. This will require you to make some life changes that you will learn about through your inner guidance. You are deeply sensitive to others' emotions, and it is important for you to clear yourself regularly, especially after helping someone. You can call upon Archangel Michael, your other guardian angels, and me to clear you of toxin, toxins or cords that may have resulted from you helping others. You are an earth angel, and we are happy to assist you in all ways. Just ask, okay? Um, let me set my intentions. I don't think I did that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my true guides, for showing up and helping me with this collective Virgo reading. Protect us as we go through these portals and close the gates of anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will. Thank you for using me as a messenger. And I ask that my message reach the right people at the right times and the right places. And so it is. Okay, and then with Archangel Michael, it says, since you are a light worker, I'm overseeing the fruition of your divine life purpose. You have been a light worker for a long time and you have felt different from others, isolated at times. Be assured that you have never been alone and that you never will be alone. And when you feel pushed to make a change at work or at home, that may be Archangel Michael's influence, encouraging you to make your life purpose a high priority. Your um, Archangel Michael can uh, rearrange your schedule and support you in other ways to make your path smooth and harmonious. Simply ask and it is done. Um, Archangel Michael will also help you feel safe and comfortable during your life changes. Okay. Now, what does Virgo's life purpose involve? Six of Swords. Okay. This is like a rite of passage. And so what I'm feeling like here, it's about you transitioning. Okay. Um, you, right now, this is the time for you to move away from whatever the difficulties that you may have experienced in the past. This is the time of, again, like I said, it's like a rite of passage. So you can't stay stuck in the past, right? Because um, the path that's ahead of you is more peaceful, is more positive, right? This is what we experience as light workers as we begin to evolve and awaken, okay? So you're supposed to be moving forward with ease and grace on your journey at this point, all right? So definitely reach out to, again, your um, angelic guides, your ancestors, however it resonates for you um, as you are going through this transition. So the two of wands comes out next, 808 on the timer. And you're being guided to start making plans, okay? Why? Because it's time for you to take the next step, all right? It's time for you to make a decision here when it comes to your life purpose. So you're in this preparation stage is how I'm seeing it. This is like the early stages, okay? The fool card comes out in the reverse. And you may be afraid to kind of like take a leap of faith right now or to take some type of chance with this why because you're stepping out of your comfort zone and some of you may feel like okay i won't get the recognition or i won't succeed at this or i won't see any rewards out of this right i got the six of wands in the reverse position but really um in reality when you follow your life purpose and you align with that virgo you um will see the victory okay you will see the recognition your hard work will pay off okay your angelic guys are going to be there with you the whole time as you are doing this 9 11 so this is important and the reason why this is important again because god needs you okay the judgment card comes out all right so do some self-evaluation and stuff like that because this is a part of your awakening your rebirth look empress energy you are being called to rise above okay your past mistakes your shortcomings um 
the um your behave past behaviors i'm gonna, I'm gonna say past behaviors right mindsets um traumas whatever that may be if you're being called to rise above that because it's time to start anew basically it's time for you to operate in your empress energy okay it's that divine feminine energy it's time to nurture that part of yourself is how i'm seeing it that part is of yourself is how you um begin to manifest in your material world on top of that okay that divine feminine energy is like the point of it's like you're at the top you're at the epitome you have healed you have evolved you are um, operating in your abundance your fertility things like that okay um you're surrounded basically by beauty by love by your guides okay so yeah this is an awakening phase for you um some of you are being awakened to be the divine feminines and again you can be a man operating as a divine feminine energy um seven of pentacles in the reverse so if you're thinking you're not going to see any type of growth by taking this path um it requires patience it doesn't happen overnight you don't you're not going to see a reward like off the bat okay it takes resiliency all right um don't procrastinate on this is how i'm hearing it this is really important okay um divine timing always tends to kick in when there's work that needs to be done internally on ourselves okay so what you're being asked to do was just to trust in the natural process um or the natural progression and timing of your efforts and your investments because you will see the rewards okay um you will definitely see the rewards what the divine is is doing right now and your angelic guides is helping you to level up to be the empress okay um so you will become a vibrational match to the universe or whatever your desires may be to your life purpose and things like that okay so it's some unfinished work that you have that you may need to to um keep investing into all right so what is that that they need to keep investing into the king of cups comes out in the reverse some of you you may be very overwhelmed um but when it comes down to your emotional balance and control okay you have to be in control of your emotions and be able to navigate through these difficult situations with grace and wisdom so you're being asked to do that like that's the empress's balance the empress sits on her throne like um yeah unbothered okay the empress is like i'm unfuckwittable okay right because she's balanced because he's balanced okay so you want to be able to balance those emotions this is how you see the positive changes happen in your life this is when you start to recover recover from whatever the losses may be this is how you're able to forgive okay um or overcome whatever the adversities may be in your life eight of cups comes out okay so this is a part of you letting go of whatever the attachments are and moving on whether it's abandonment whether it's rejection whether it's a person okay whether it's a situation whatever it may be you're being asked to embrace the changes with courage and optimism and then on top of that like i said archangel michael is with you giving you the courage giving you the strength to make the changes in your life that will help you with your divine life purpose virgo okay so remember reach out to your spirit team because you are a light worker we have spiritual helpers that help us behind the scenes, okay? So all you got to do is ask for that support and they're going to help you in this 3D illusion that we, we live in, all right? But again, the goal is for us to help raise the vibration of the collective, okay? We're here um, as light bringers, all right? We share our stories with others. We help other people to overcome their stories. We help to bring their frequency up so that they can be a vibrational match to the divine, okay? So um, just remember, you serve an important purpose in this world. You were called, okay? What they say, many are chosen, but a few are called, right? But you were called, okay, to be um, or to operate in this light worker manner, all right? So again, God needs you to shine your light across the world. Like step outside your comfort zone. Don't be afraid and just know when you are called, you are also supported, okay? All right, y'all. So thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys and I will talk to you later. Don't forget to tune into my show today at four o'clock on Power 410. We will be talking about battered men. 
Um, and we will also possibly drop um, a quick collective reading towards the end of the show. But however, there's music by DJ J Prime, which is my twin flame, as you guys already know. Um, he does the music on the show. We are definitely walking this journey uh, growing, evolving, healing, and learning from each other. Um, we do know we serve a major purpose as well as helping humanity as working together, um, functioning together, you know, when it comes down to our life purpose and our work, and that's the goal. So we have awakened and we understand what the purpose and the call is that we have on our lives and uh, what contribution we play towards society okay so um again like i said that empress energy came out heavily in the reading so most likely you are a divine feminine um and you do have a divine masculine or a divine counterpart that you're supposed to be working together with uh to help humanity so remember the bigger picture even though it may be a lot going on within your situation um remember the bigger picture we're here to help earth in all of its inhabitants and we learn from each other okay so i'll go into more of that later you guys already know i dropped tons of twin flame messages um but that's something that you guys need to think about i know sometimes it's hard to work with your twin because of the simple fact of some of the things that they do right but you got to see beyond the illusions okay this person is put on this earth as well as you being put on this earth to help each other to evolve so that you can fulfill your life mission your life purpose that work all right so keep that in mind remember that you guys are, um when it comes down to it okay because i know some of you are definitely having some struggles when it comes down to your twin flame dynamic okay so face your mirror all the time and even if you're not on the twin flame journey um and you are on your light worker journey, your healing journey, just remember that everybody you encounter is a mirror reflection of you, okay? And they're mirroring back to you your wounds. So go within and heal, y'all. Don't forget, check out the show. You're going to have to download the Power 410 app. Um, again, me, my co-host, TN, um, the XTY show, you guys, um, and also my other co-host, J Prime, and my other co-host, um, um um oh i'm sorry Ugh. which is my sister y'all i was trying to think of her other name but her name is amanda okay but she's earth prophetess okay earth, earth prophetess 888 on tiktok all right so check her out too um and all right i'm here i go i love you guys peace